Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some monster romances. <laughs> I already have a few Monster Romance recommendation videos up on my channel. I'll link them down below in the description if you would like even more recommendations if you have not seen those videos yet. Here are 10 more Monster Romances that I would love to recommend to you before Halloween. So you can read them throughout October if you'd like. I love me a good monster man. Sometimes woman, sometimes it's a monster woman. So let's get into these 10 recommendations. The first one that I have is Song of the Abyss by Emma Hamm. This is the second book in her like evil mermaid kind of series. So this series that Emma Hamm has written takes place on a planet or a world where it is not habit habitable, habitable <laughs> above the ocean. Like there's constant tsunamis, storms, like no one can survive above water. And so humans have now designed these underwater city domes for them to live in. But by doing so, they ruin the world underwater that these undines, these mermaids have already been living in. So these mermaids have sworn to hate these humans, want to ruin their cities. Book number one, I think was on a previous video of mine, but book number two is basically the villain mermaid from book number one and him getting his romance with like the princess of the ruler of the dome cities. There's disability representation with both characters. The hero um, lost an arm in the previous book and the heroine is hard of hearing because of something that her father did. So she is all more than willing to leave this city and have this merman creature take her away because she is terrified of her father, hates her father. This merman is absolutely ginormous, by the way. He's absolutely huge. He's like 16 feet long. Um, and there is size difference for sure. But this villainous man can't help but fall for this gentle, innocent human woman that he is basically sent to kill. Um, but he, he can't help but fall in love with her. It's so stinking cute, but it's also very hot. Very, very hot. Next, I have Yearning for Her by Tiffany Roberts. This hero is a incubus, which is a male version of a succubus. So they feed off of like sex and passion and stuff. The heroine of the story, she just realized that her boyfriend, who she thought she was gonna like marry, is like the biggest scum on the earth, okay? And found out that like he's been with other women and stuff. So she's walking home from breaking up with him and she runs into this incubus man. She has no idea what he is. Um, and he's like, you know what? How about we have a night together? You can forget about him. And so that's what happens. So they have like the best night ever. And she sneaks out in the morning because she's fully planning on never seeing him again. But he doesn't wake up for many hours. He realized that he got a giant energy boost from this woman. He has not fed like off someone like he's fed off of her. And then he quickly realizes after she left, like he's physically not able to feed off of anyone else. So he's slowly dying. And um, he's trying really hard to find this woman. He only knows her first name. So he's basically like walking around the streets at night trying to find this woman. But I thought the incubus part was like so interesting and unique. You don't see that a lot in romances. So I love how Tiffany Roberts like created this creature. Next I have Entranced by the Basilisks by Lillian Lark. This is a part of her like Monstrous Mate series. I think that's the title of the series. Um, but anyway, it's like matchmaking monster romances. And this is an MMF monster romance with two basilisk men and a woman who has been like cursed to have like medusa snake heads she like opens up this book at this library she works at she gets cursed to like be like medusa and anyone who like looks at the snakes on her head turns to stone and these basilisks are basically hired to help her out but they have a past they have a history um like they were together at one point and this woman kind of like brings them all together again so it's a grand old time grand old time with these two men next i have a chunky one this is a soul to heal by Opal rain she just keeps getting up and down up and down hello hi this one is the second book in her like dusk walker series um which is a series all about these dusk walker demon creatures falling for humans and um this one are here when delora finds out that her husband has been cheating on her she ends up actually killing her husband and her townsfolk um decide to seek retribution by throwing her off this cliff and when she lands um, she lands on top of our nameless character here. Um, he doesn't have a name for quite a while in this book, um, but he is a new Duskwalker. This one falls on him and she's basically like, I don't care if I live or die. And he asks for her soul to help heal her because he wants a human for himself. This is a great read. I loved this one, um, but 
it is darker than book number one, I would say. So we're going in here for like depression and thoughts of like suicide. So please be aware of that before going into this one. Next is The Ballast's Bride by Sarah Ivy Hill. This is the second book in this giant series that I've been recommending before. Um, number one was just so stinking funny to me like so funny and so good. This one was not as funny, but it was still good to me. <laughs> I don't think they're supposed to be funny. I think I just found number one so funny, but these are romances between giant colored men and human women that literally fit in the palm of their hand. So um, the second book in the series, this giant creature is actually the heroine's bodyguard. And um, she, I think runs away or no, she is sent to this kingdom to like wed somebody, but the hero like sneaks onto the ship to protect her. And they act, there's like some nefarious plan with like the marriage and stuff like that. So he protects her and then they like admit that they've always been in love with each other, but like he's like this giant creature man. So it's very interesting the logistics between this, between everything, but um, it's a great read. Next is The Nightmare's Kiss. This one is really interesting because it takes place like on earth like in our time period, the heroine has been hired to work at this very mysterious facility. And her job is to essentially sit in this room and record everything that this smoke creature does through this window. Turns out this is a monster and he has like a corporeal form and she has no idea like what is going on that like the facility has been torturing monsters and all this stuff. She has no idea what's going on. When she realizes it, she's like, oh my gosh, no, no, no. So she decides to help this creature live and escape and things happen between them. So this is like a smoke nightmare creature that turns into like a corporeal, like physical form as well. Next I have The Orc and Her Bride. This one is actually a sapphic romance where um, one woman is like an elf creature and the other is an orc princess. And they're actually putting an arranged marriage to unite their families. And um, the elf princess decides to like the biggest brat possible to get kicked out because she did not want to be put in an arranged marriage. She did not, um, has nothing to do with the orc woman. She's like, I bet she's great and all, she seems really sweet, but like this is not what I intended for my life. So she decides to like be like the biggest brat possible and get herself kicked out of this kingdom. But our orc heroine will not back down easy. She is so gentle hearted and kind and patient. Like I love her. I was mainly there for her. She was amazing. I freaking loved her. So um, if you want a sapphic monster romance, you should definitely pick this one up. Next is The Gargoyle from General Management by Kate Pryor. Um, this one starts out so funny. So this is obviously a romance between a human woman and a gargoyle, if you couldn't tell. Um, but I'll just mention like the first scene that's so funny. Um, so these two characters, um, actually monsters and like humans, like live together just by the way um or is she a witch i actually think the heroine's not a human i think she's a witch if i'm not mistaken the heroine is um going to a corporate like retreat for work and she's not happy about it oh no she's not a she's a succubus that's what she is because give me a second so um she's going to a corporate retreat and she's like she needs certain things to like get off because she's a succubus. And she's like, I'm gonna have no one with me to like do things with, so I gotta bring my own stuff. And so her suitcase like opens at the, like the luggage area or whatever when they're scanning her luggage and like those things fall out of her bag. And she's so embarrassed and even more embarrassed when like the hunky, 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 handsome man who's in line with her next to her um, sees it all. <laughs> it turns out that's her like new coworker at her job and he's also at the retreat. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, she is a succubus, I remember now. So um, that was fun. That one, that one was really fun. Next I have Wed to Jack Frost by Layla Faye. So this is a part of the Arranged Monster Mate series where humans sign up to be genetically matched to their perfect match um, of monster creature. So the heroine of this one gets matched to our Jack Frost-esque character. And he does not want a wife. He does not want to get married. He goes to like the mating agency to like tell them like, hey, like I did not agree to this. I don't want to get married. But the moment that he sees her, he's like, oh, whoa, okay. Yeah, I think I actually do want to get married to you, <laughs> maybe. This is actually a female dom romance as well. So if you want to like diversify yourself a little bit, get with it, get with it with that one. And my last book is also a Layla Faye book. This is Crow, which 
you can kind of assume this is a crow shifter romance. Um, this one is a short, quick read. It's very bizarre, but like very funny. And I had a great all time with it. Um, her books just put a smile on my face. So, <laughs> so yeah, he's a crow shifter and he's been stalking our heroine in his like crow form. And yeah, and there may or may not be like laying eggs in, putting eggs in someone, I think. I think that's this book. I can't remember, but. It's fun nonetheless. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it. Those are some monster romances for you to pick up during October. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any monster related emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.